What's your answer to that? How far can we go from here when it comes to the equity rally in the US? Good morning, Lizzie. Thank you for having me. Um, look, we focus on the region. We take cues from international markets. And I'm going to answer your question by uh, telling you what we expect to see here. Okay. And our expectation here is 15% upside in the UAE on both indices, Abu Dhabi and Dubai, of course. This is in the context of uh, everything that's happening internationally in the very supportive environment. So I would say plus 15% in the UAE is our expectation. And how much more confidence did you take from earnings season here? You've, I think, described it as an economic miracle previously. That's correct. That's the term I've been using. And effectively, 34% is the number I like to retain for the year over year increase in aggregate earnings in the UAE. Uh, I mean, this is a, a phenomenal number. Of course, there are some underlying granularity in that number. But overall, it's a very good number. Well, let's dig into that then. Which sectors do you like? So uh, financials have done really, really well. Energy has done well. Uh, you know, if you look at what we expect going forward and, and how we uh, think that this is going to continue over 2024, then I would say energy, financials, infrastructure and utilities are the focal points of what we're looking at. So I know you're talking about the UAE, but if we broaden out more across the region, what about the geopolitical risks? There are two or three risks which we flag as being on our radar. Geopolitics is one of them, of course. I mean, any escalation in uh, the regional conflict here between Israel and Gaza and, and, and Palestine is something that we keep on our radar. Are markets complacent about that? So the uh, situation has pretty much been brushed off in the expectation that things are going to, going to remain under control. But of course, tension is escalating now, and we keep a very close watch on this particular situation. There are other risks which we highlight, the dollar, the oil price, of mm -hmm. course, and the interest rates. So interest rates, we check that box. Uh, dollar down, of course, is a positive for the region, and oil up. Uh, are two more boxes which are checked, geopolitics remains the main concern. Well, how far can oil go? Jeff Curry says because of the Fed rate cuts, you could actually go to $90 a barrel. Do you agree with that? So we don't carry a forecast specifically on oil, but we look at the market, we look at the balances, we look at the uh, forecasts out there. And my view is certainly that there is a convergence of interests for oil to remain above $80, and this is what we're seeing so far. Of course, should there be an escalation in geopolitics, then that number would change radically to the upside. But all of that is fairly good for our stock markets, our region, and the Middle East in general. And if we just broaden out even more emerging markets, where do you see the bright spots? Where do you see trouble? So, uh, of course, we're specialists of this region. So uh, if, we, if we look on an aggregate basis, then emerging markets look fairly inexpensive relative to, to other markets. Of course, they've underperformed significantly. Uh, you know, let's look at China. Is it the right time to go back into China? This is a question that we ask. But of course, we leave that answer to the specialists of the Chinese market. However, at less than 10 times earnings, this is compelling. If I drill down more specifically uh, and take a top-down approach, then emerging markets have been underperforming. They still are to some extent. Within emerging markets, the GCC are a sweet spot. Within the GCC, uh, Dubai looks like a phenomenal uh, value.